Hello, Sibel. How are you? Good. Okay, so today we are going to basically talk about the first part in this speaking um, test of IELTS, or the interview, as it's generally known to mm -hmm. candidates. Uh, there are, as you can see, there are six uh, broad areas. Um, job, hometown, study, family, likes and dislikes, and hobbies, from which you may have questions. You may have one or two questions from maybe one or two of them, not all of them. And, and <coughs> excuse me, and because you are a student here, a high school student here, so the examiner uh, will not ask you about the job you're going to have or the job that you have right now because you already are a student. Mm -hmm. So the examiner will ask you the first question, such as, do you work or study? Well, after actually uh, he or she takes your um, ID or ID card and then uh, checks out in the form and then asks you uh, your full name, he or she will move on and then will start the interview. So the first question usually is, may I have your full name? Uh, can I check your um, ID card or your passport? And then, do you work or study? And then you're going to say, I study here. You can talk about your high school, your grade you're in right now. And then you may have questions about your hometown. He or she would say, let's talk about the part you come from, or let's talk about your hometown. He or she may also ask you a uh, question or questions about uh, the neighborhood you, you, you're living right now in Toronto, Canada. Okay? So, um, you may live in a uh, house or an apartment, a condo. You have to be able to describe the place you live in very clearly and correctly. And um, your neighborhood as well, mm -hmm, where you're living in, in Toronto, Canada. And then... He or she may ask you questions about your family, whether you come from a small family, a nuclear family, extended family, and your likes and dislikes and hobbies. So likes and dislikes and hobbies are usually combined, but instead of using the, uh, the verb like or enjoy, we highly suggest our students, the candidates, to use I'm passionate about, I'm keen on, and I'm enthusiastic about instead of using I like. You could also say I'm interested in, which is okay. But I highly suggest using I'm passionate about, I'm keen on, which are followed by ing verbs or gerund verbs or nouns, such as I'm passionate about learning English. I'm passionate about um, studying in high schools in Canada or going to university. Or I'm passionate about basketball or playing basketball. You could just play with those um, you know, phrases. And it's also important to practice a lot of questions regarding cooking, films, or movies, um, your uh, leisure time activities, uh, summer activities, uh, sports, um, summer sports, winter sports, the activities or the sports you like to play, and the sports or activities you don't like to play or you like watching instead of playing. So you may have questions that are pretty much tricky, you know, the activities that you don't like doing. And then how you're going to just negate them or turn them into negative statements by using I'm not passionate about, or I'm not much passionate about, or I'm not interested in, or I'm not keen on. Okay? So these are the, uh, the, uh, the strategies or the key strategies for you to um, survive and earn a good credit or score for part one.